What's up guys? Welcome back to the Ultim Nature Systems channel. My name is Parker and today we're going to be doing troubleshooting and maintenance on the Ultim Nature Systems Delta canister filters. For the sake of demonstration, I'm going to be doing my troubleshooting and maintenance on the Delta 120 and the Delta 60, but the Delta 120 and the Delta 90 share similar troubleshooting and maintenance, same with the 60 and the 30. Here we have the UNS Delta 60. Every UNS Delta filter now comes with Aquario, NeoFlow, Lily pipes and brackets, half inch tubing, instructions for your filter, as well as a pamphlet with information about the special collaboration between UNS and Aquario. We recommend rinsing your carbon cartridge before use and replacing it every three to six months. Inside of your Delta filter, there are two trays of Aquario Neo Media Pure a replaceable carbon cartridge, as well as a black filter media sponge. Before you begin priming, double check that your gasket is in proper position and is undamaged. Double check that there's no water around the canister edge, and make sure that the impeller is properly lined up to the hole in the media basket. After you've attached your lily pipes, use the twist handle to open up the main body of the canister and add water through the top hatch until it's all the way full. Once the canister is full, reattach your handle, and it's important that your canister is completely full of water to ensure a proper siphon. Here we have the UNS Delta 120 canister filter and a box of additional accessories. Inside of the accessory box, there are two Aquario Neo Flow Lily Pipes, a bag containing Aquario brackets as well as two flow valves, 5 8 inch tubing, as well as instructions on your filter, and an informational pamphlet about the special collaboration between UNS and Aquario. Inside the filter contains a green media sponge, a tray of bagged Aquario Neo Media Pure, as well as a black filter sponge. Make sure that you unbag your Aquario Media before you assemble your filter. And when reassembling your media baskets, make sure that the holes on the baskets align to the post on the inside of the canister. Looking at the top of your Delta 90 and 120, you'll see that there's a handle for moving your canister filter, as well as a plunger to start priming your system. The Delta 90 and 120 also come with an additional flow valve before your tubing to easily start and stop your filter. For installing the flow valve onto your canister, make sure the O-ring is in good condition and properly placed. Make sure you screw these on tightly to prevent any leaks. When you're attaching your pipes to your canister, it's important that you attach your inflow to the valve labeled in and the outflow to the valve labeled out. Make sure that the tubing is pushed to the bottom of the barb fitting and tightened all the way to ensure that there are no leaks. While the Delta 30, 60, and 90 have half-inch tubing, the Delta 120 is the only filter in the lineup with 5 8 inch tubing. To begin priming your filter, press the plunger a few times until you start seeing water moving through your inflow pipe. The water level should then equalize against the glass of the tank. The Delta 90 and 120 also do not need to be full of water before you begin priming. On 
On the Delta 120, double check that the gasket is in the proper position and is undamaged. Over time though, your gasket may crack and you may need to get a replacement. And double check that your media baskets are lined up properly within your canister to ensure a proper fitting. After you've primed your Delta 60 and 30, double check for potential leaks. If you find water around this edge here, you may have not clamped the top on properly or you may have a faulty gasket. If you find you have a leak at the base of your tubing, double check that your valves are properly tightened. And if you find that you have a leak at your twist handle, make sure it's sealed properly. After you've primed your Delta, check for leaks around the connection points of the filter. If you notice leaks around this gray edge, there may be a problem with your gasket, or it could not be clamped correctly. If you notice leaks around the valves, double check that they're tightened properly. It's completely normal to hear bubbles or see bubbles for the first few moments after starting your filter. If you find that your bubbles are not dissipating properly, you can gently rock the filter to help the trap bubbles escape. If you find that your filter has reduced flow after cleaning out your sponges, or there's a rattling noise after the initial break-in period, you might need to perform impeller maintenance. You can find the impeller here on the bottom of the canister lid. To take off the impeller, start by removing the two screws located on either side. Then remove the clear cap and the impeller should come off. Double check that there's a rubber cap on either side of the impeller. This plastic part is unbroken and there's a ceramic portion in the middle. Using a soft brush, clean off any debris that may be on the impeller. Then remove the black rubber cap, take out the rod and double check that there is no debris on the inside of the impeller. If there's nothing, reinstall the rod and the rubber cap. Then reinstall the impeller inside. It should click into place through the magnet Put the cap back on and screw it back into place. On the Delta 30 and 60, the impeller can be found here on the bottom of the cap. To remove the impeller, start by removing the screws on either side. Then take off the cap of the impeller and the impeller. And double check that the center rod is free of debris. You can also use fine tip toothbrush to clean off any debris that may be on the plastic of the impeller. Once you're done cleaning, put the impeller back onto the rod and snap it back into place. Lastly, reattach the screws on either side of the impeller. Then reattach the top chamber of your canister and we recommend performing maintenance on the impeller once every three months. If you're looking to connect accessories in line with your UNS Delta filter, it's important that you only connect them to the outflow tubing, as connecting them to the inflow tubing can cause issues with air being trapped inside your filter. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you found this video helpful, and I will see you guys in the next one.